was a small boy, about 10 years old. Um, I, I used to love growing up with my old people and listening to their stories about they pass and like they, they passed on knowledge to me about Wanjana and a lot of, lot of sacred sites and all that and stories about the dream time. Our ancestors look after country and doing the right thing for us and now it's time for us rangers to do the same. And yeah, that's why I pretty much love, like what I do at this time. A healthy country plan is a guideline for us rangers to um, to keep the country healthy. It's it's a it's a document for us to see what we can do in the next ten years. And one of our targets in the book is about turtles and dugongs. And turtles and dugongs is really important to us for our saltwater people, because they come and play in our cultural stories and especially for cultural ceremonies. Like if you get, a get together, you know, we hunt turtle and dugong, just so that families come from far and wide. Plus we are um, passing the knowledge on to our kids as well, um, taking, taking them out of hunting and show them the right way about it. Turtle and dugong, this program with Nailsman CSIRO um, helps us Monitor and monitor the turtle and dugong so that um, we could see there's plenty out there for our generation to come. So in this project, um, we're doing boat-based surveys to keep an eye on local turtle and dugong populations. The way that that actually works when we're out on the boat is you've got three ranges up the front of the boat. You've got an observer on your right-hand side and an observer on the left-hand side of the boat. Um, and then you've also got a recorder. The recorder is using one of these unbreakable PDAs loaded with the eye tracker application using the cyber tracker software. And they're um, actually logging all of the turtles and dugongs that are observed by the right hand person and the left hand person. Um, it's a great way that, so that we could show people, or not people, but uh, our mob back home, um, that we looking after turtle and dugong and monitoring them the right way that you know, it always will be there for our generation to come. Traditionally, um, monitoring surveys are done out of aeroplanes or helicopters or beach-based surveys, which are pretty expensive. Um, and they basically disenfranchise a lot of local communities because um, it doesn't allow them to participate. So this particular methodology is, is tailored to local communities, looking after local populations. Sea turtles are important for indigenous people for many reasons, but important from a conservation point of view as well. Six of the uh, seven uh, species of sea turtles occur in North Australian waters, and as we know around the globe, uh, several of those populations uh, of sea turtles uh, have uh, suffered dramatic declines. And the importance of Northern Australia is a place where particularly green turtles uh, are in abundant numbers, but uh, uh, there is need to uh, quantify that and to work with particularly Aboriginal people in Northern Australia to uh, undertake uh, population counts uh, and also to undertake management actions. This job that we're doing now is um, helping us to look after our country the best we can. Um, not only that, I, I love what I'm doing, you know, because in, in a different job, like it'll be the same old thing, you know. Uh, this way, um, you know, we, we get out and to be on country and um, see how our ancestors before us um, was was living on country, you know, and the rough, rough times that they've been through and the good times they've been through, you know.